From time to time, I get questions from potential clients uh, who are looking at getting a cartridge analysis from us here in the lab. Um, they ask, um, what, so what will I notice? How much benefit will I notice when my cartridge is optimized? And, and my answer has to be, I have no idea because I have no idea how far off from optimal you currently are. Now, I can point to the statistics that we keep we, of the several hundred cartridges that we've analyzed, we database all of them. So we know on average how far the population is. I can break it down by brand and by model. Uh, how far away the population, population is for any given parameter. Zenith error correction, VTA, um, azimuth off of level, things like this. So I could give these averages and say, well, that might be you right there on the average. And, and well, the averages <laughs> The averages from optimal are quite large, especially in the case of VTA and then secondarily um, with zenith error, both of which are very audible, especially zenith error. Um, so my answer is I don't know, but I do ask people, I say, please listen. If you haven't already listened to your cartridge, say if you're going to send me a cartridge that you just recently purchased, I like it if you listen to it set up your way first and then set it up after the analysis using the corrective shim, using uh, the Wally Zenith, what are the tools that are necessary to optimize your cartridge. I like that because then you know what you've purchased. And I haven't, you know, perhaps some people are being polite, I don't know, but I've never heard any client so far respond to me, I don't hear a significant improvement. I've never heard that. Um, and of course, it doesn't surprise me given how far the loose tolerance is in the industry with respect to cartridge building. So I can't tell you how much of improvement will be. I can tell you what clients tell me that they've heard after they've done the optimization. I can tell you for your given cartridge, on average, how far away is it from optimal on those, those four angles. But I can pretty much guarantee you that compared to however you got it set up now, <laughs> Pretty, pretty much a guarantee that you're going to hear a significant improvement. And th this is not a testament to any kind of magic we're doing here. This is a testament to the loose standards in the industry, the loose tolerances, the sloppy build quality, to be quite honest with you. Some manufacturers worse than others, but you know, for the most part, we can correct for most of these errors. And then of course, there is the one other significant issue that about one out of eight cartridges that I see in the lab don't even meet manufacturer specifications. Not my specifications, not WAM engineering specifications, but the cartridge manufacturer specifications or the specifications of their vendors. Remember, all the cartridge manufacturers pretty much all buy their stylus cantilever assemblies from one of three companies. Occasionally, I do find a cartridge that benefits from virtually no correction whatsoever in which case well we got really lucky but it just doesn't happen very often with one out of eight cartridges not even meeting manufacturer specifications well when we do see this uh, i'll document the case as clearly as possible to help you make a warranty claim this is also why with this high amount of failure this one in eight failure. This is why uh, I ask, please, if you're going to send me your cartridge, it's best if you send it to me while it's still under warranty. So then we have a claim. There's another week of soundbite video. See you next week.